welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I'm Tony Green, and we are about to get the show started. So, okay, for those of you who are new, you can call into the show and ask a question or connect with loved ones on the other side. The call in number is 845 277 nine one three one you can call in ask a question about any area of your life um love career finances relationships it, anything at all if you want to connect with a loved one on the other side i just need their first name and their relationship to you if you are watching live on youtube you can ask a question in the chat area and as soon as I see it or if I see it I will answer it um, in between taking calls. Now if you're watching on one of the TV stations or streaming stations that um, carries my show first of all thank you everybody that carries my show or listening on one of the almost every podcast that carries my show. Uh, thank you again. Um, you can join us live every Monday and or Wednesday at noon central time and be a part of the show, right? Okay. Hey, Stevie, how you doing? I hope you're having a great day. And so yesterday was my niece Gianna's birthday. Um, so happy birthday again, Gianna. And today is my niece Kesslyn's birthday. So happy birthday, Kesslyn. Um, and hey, Stevie, I hope you're having an amazing day. Now, we are going to get started. Um, on, on the chat, Miss Jules, first, thank you, everybody, for being on YouTube and joining me. I want to say hi to uh, Fawn and Genevieve. I love you guys. Miss Jules, thank you for joining us. I think Miss Jules might be new. Welcome to the show. And Patrick and Miss Jules asked um, if she could please. Hey, Susie, how are you? Um, she asked if she could please ask about uh, meeting a companion or a partner at some point if I see that coming in. My return question to Miss Jules is. Um, Sorry, I don't know oh. who your niece is. In fact, I don't know who you are. <laughs> you can tell me. In Siri settings, tap on my info and then choose yourself from the contact. They are always listening. They are always listening. Oh my goodness. How do I turn Siri off? Oh my goodness. That is crazy. Okay. Siri wanted to be a part of the show today. Right there, folks. Right there. Okay. Um, Miss Jules, back to you, Miss Jules. Um, Okay, so I hear October. And so my return question to you was, did you meet somebody in October? Did you um, briefly and or um, have an encounter with somebody? Maybe, you know, uh, meet somebody in October. If not, if not, I feel like September, October of 2023, you are going to meet someone. Now, I know sometimes that feels like a very different, um, uh, 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 yeah, Siri, right? Uh, Jewel, Miss Jewel says, uh, Miss Siri is talking to you. Yes. Um, Miss Jules, um, if you did not meet somebody in, in October of this past year, OK, if you did not meet somebody in September of this past year, I mean, October of this past year, Siri's got me <laughs> all discombobulated here. Um, OK, she is. is uh, thank you, Miss Jules. Jules says she has not met anyone. So they're coming in September, October of 2023. That is not that far off. And here's here's what I'm going to tell you between now and September, there are going to be so, so many changes in your life. Um, I know now you have like a million questions, all good changes. Don't panic. Don't be like, oh my God, what changes? What's going to happen? Da, da, da. All good changes. And these changes are boom, boom, boom. For those of you who are new, I do my own sound effects. I do my own everything. <laughs> um, those changes are emotional, psychological changes, changes that are going to help you um, 
inter internally grow, have some internal growth. Um, I feel like you're going to have a, 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 a some evolving come in. Um, and I'm not, I, you know, I'm not going to be like a woo woo. Oh my God, you're going to have a spiritual awakening. I'm not going to, we're all having spiritual awakenings every day at this point. Every single day, we are all having spiritual awakenings, unless we're in bed under the covers. Obviously, my bedroom is that way, folks. And we are still having spiritual awakenings in our dreams. This is just a time when things are just coming at us really fast and either we're <clears throat> choosing to look at it one way or the other. Now, September, October, somebody's coming in for you, Buddha, Buddha, and that person is going to match wherever you are. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? The more you... I don't always like to say the word heal, right? Because we all think, oh, well, how the heck do I, right? What I am going to say is the more you evolve, the more you allow yourself to understand yourself between now and September, the, the more th that's the level you're going to meet that person on. And let me be clear, we always meet people on the level we are on. I know. So deep, yet so shallow. <laughs> I'm sorry. If I could be serious for two minutes, I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm so sorry. Um, no, seriously, we we always meet people at the level we're on. But the, the more we understand ourselves, if you want to understand the world, and I cannot, I cannot even, this statement is such a, like a little bitty statement, but such a huge statement. The more you understand yourself, the more you will understand the whole world because the whole world is a reflection of you and what you have going on in your life, who you are, so on and so forth. So the more time you understand you, meaning why you think what you think, why you do what you do, yada, 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 right? Then the more others will understand you also. And the more you'll understand others and the, the more evolve, evolvement, the more evolved you will become. Um, many great gurus and teachers have said, you are not in this world. The world is in you and you are playing it out in front of you, which goes along with the statement of you create your existence because what is inside of you is what is presenting in front of you okay having said that I know that okay is the whole show going to be like this are we going to have these really deep uh, philosophical answers to every question gosh I hope so okay I'm going to say um, hi to Car Caroline hi Caroline and Modi Mo D Live. Hey, Mo. I'm just going to call you Mo if that's okay, Mo. Um, I'm so, so grateful for each and every one of you spending this time with me. We have an hour, well, probably like 50 minutes on the clock left. We're going to start with a clearing for everybody. We are evolving. I'm going to clear that to a yes. All that stopping or blocking us from evolving has cleared. I get a no. So we are going <clears> to <throat> clear that. For all of you who are new, I uh, post healings and or clearings and what I think are funny statements on TikTok. Okay. Yeah, I think they're funny. So that's all good. Um, and uh, so if you want to join me at TikTok, it's at Psychic Tony. And then the last PSA for this moment is please, 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 please. I will never reach out to you and ask you if you need a reading or tell you you need a reading or that you're cursed. And I no, I will never, ever reach out to you. So please don't um, be a victim on um, many social media platforms. There are people um, pretending to be um, the the. Uh, 
the readers and um, don't be a victim to them. Don't do not get ripped off by these people. If you want a reading, um, there's a link in my bios and you go directly to my website. It's T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O. Also, okay, this is really the last one. This is the last thing. I started an Amazon storefront because I have two TikTok channels, and one of them is called Live Beauty Reviews, and I wanted to put the things I love for beauty on that um, on that channel. So in the bio, there's a, a, a link also to some of my Amazon things that I absolutely love that I use um, if for, for stuff. So if you're interested, you can look at that. If not, who cares, right? It's just stuff, more stuff. Who needs more stuff? This, this girl does. This girl needs more stuff. Okay, Jules, awesome, great message. Uh, you are welcome. You are so welcome, my love. You are so, so, um, you are so welcome. And thank you, Mo, for letting me call um, you, Mo. We are going to go to the first caller. And once again, if you would like to call in today, the number is 845-277-9131. I hope my voice clears up a little bit. It's a little froggy this morning. Uh, 703. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello. Is it Andrea? Hi, where are you calling from, Andrea? From Virginia. Love it. Love it. Virginia on the line. How can I help you, sweetie? Uh, I, we talked to you about a week ago or a couple weeks ago about uh, some job potential. So I didn't get one of the jobs, and I still haven't heard from the other one, but I did get an offer for a contract job. I don't really like it. It's boring. So I don't know if you see anything else that I keep applying to coming through. Okay. I hear the contract job is boring. Um, don't say no, yeah. no to them. Like I hear you. I hear what you're saying about that. Don't say no, no, no to them. Right. Stall them out for a minute to make sure you have like a, a backup, like a backup. And then there is something oh, yeah, else yeah. coming in. There's one more potential coming in. Is it the second interview? Yes, yes. I feel like the second interview is one of the potential. Okay, then there's two more potentials coming in. There's the one you you already interviewed for, but there's one more. But it's going to take a minute for that to um, come to you. Now, I do want to tell you, as far as um, permanent employment, this is just what I'm hearing. Uh, not a contract, like they're calling it piecework. Not a they're calling the contract piecework. Mm -hmm. As far as a, a permanent employment, I see that coming in February, March. So you might end up taking this little bit of a boring contract. And then February, March, something's going to roll right to your feet. They're like showing me a red carpet rolling out and uh, landing at your feet that you can just walk right into. I do feel like um, if you take this contract, make sure you have side work that you can do outside of the, the contract that is um, what you really like to do, stuff you really like to do. And going into the holiday season, the other thing I'm hearing is going into the holiday season, it might be nice to have something that's a little low key, boring, um, non-stressful. Now, having said all of that, there is one more opportunity coming to you. And I hear December, I don't know if it's right before December or after December, but I do feel like it is coming to you. And it is going to be coming to you yet yeah, prior to December. Now that does, I don't know if that means you're going to be um, hired by December, but by, be prior to December, you are going to hear, hear about this opportunity and, and know, like be a foot in the door of this opportunity is what I'm hearing. Okay, love. Okay, yeah, I, I did take this contract job. I mean, it's with a real estate office. I like it. But uh, apparently the first person they hired, I guess, didn't want it. So they came back to me. And she's like, we're grateful to have you. I think if you're grateful, why didn't you just ask me first? Versus I'm now your second choice. You know, yeah. so I, I, don't know, I don't know how they really feel about me because I feel like I'm the second choice now. Um, 
So, okay. So if we, I, I get that. I really do. I really get that. Um, and sometimes, it, it, how do I say this? Sometimes, um, okay. Um, sometimes it, it didn't work out for that first choice because it wasn't meant for that person. And maybe it is meant for for right. like it, maybe it's something that's meant for you, but I do hear, here's what I'm going to say. If you can stall them out just for a minute and see if there's something else you can find, how long is this contract for? Let me ask that. So it's only, it's only four months. So the girl's on maturity leave. So, yeah. so it ends sometime in February. Exactly. Okay. So what did I say earlier? There's a permanent position coming in February or March, right? So if you take this, it'll take mm -hmm. you right to this golden opportunity that's coming in in February, March. If you can let that, that, and I, I'm going to use this word, but don't be offended. And please don't, don't think of it in a bad way, because I would feel yeah. like you, I'd be like, I will starve before I am second choice. Um, no, I would not. Okay. But um, if we can let that ego part go of uh, like, I, I don't want to be your second choice. Once you sign the contract and you're in, you do what you do. And then February, March, there's this like just this golden opportunity coming in. And let me add this. Maybe it's happening this way for you um, so that when this opportunity comes in in February or March, you're going to be available where if you took a permanent position right now, um, it mm. would probably not be a good position because in in um, this other position is kind of meant for you in February. Um, and and that's where you need to be. Okay. So the timing might be like all the pieces are falling in place, even if you don't like the way they fell in place. Does that make sense? Right, right. Yes, absolutely. It makes total sense. Okay, perfect. Is it, was this helpful? Yes, yes. Excellent. Absolutely. It's okay. great. As Excellent. always. <laughs> and, and you know what? You Maybe their first choice was, uh, you know, whatever the, the way, let's not worry about the way it happened. Let's just get in there and do what we can. And again, I feel like if you stall, it'll be okay. You're going to hear something back from this other place. But I do now. Okay. Here's the way I'm going to ask the question. Should she take this contract okay and then i'm gonna ask um when if she takes the contract will it work out yes it will is there something better coming in eh. potato potato same same thing different day um is she going to mm -hmm. enjoy the contract you if you take this contract you're going to enjoy it. You're going to enjoy it if you take this contract. You'll it'll be easy peasy. Okay, the one I'm on, the one I'm on now. The, yeah, the the one that we're discussing. If you take it, it will be easy peasy. You'll move forward very very quickly. Um, it'll be really easy. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm taking it. This is my third day. Oh good. Oh well, there we go. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, more proof that um, the. Um, timeline in the spirit world is different than than anything else yeah you know and there is i'm gonna tell you there is a, and who cares if if the first person if you weren't their first choice who cares who who absolutely cares yeah um the the important thing is you're going to enjoy this and then in february march something's going to come in that's going to be like a golden opportunity to for you so the timing is perfect. Okay, love? Thank you. Yeah, that sounds great. Excellent. Excellent. <clears throat> Thank you so much for uh, calling in. I will keep you posted. <laughs> please, please do. Please do. Okay? Okay, I will. Thank you. You are welcome. And thank you so much for calling in. I'm going to go directly to the next caller, who is 917. 917, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, 
Okay, so I'm going to right away ask if when you're talking, if you can just please talk a little bit slowly for me. Um, because you have a really beautiful accent that 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 I'm going to just need to really focus on your words with. So what what's your question, love? Thank you. I'm calling about a relationship with a gentleman named Alec. Okay. For me and maybe everybody listening, can you say that a little bit? I I heard relationship and gentleman out of that whole thing. Everything else kind of rolled together. Um, so can name you, Philip, yeah, name Philip. And what do you want to know about this? I just whatever spirit wants me to know about it. Okay. Give me just a second here as I tap in. Thank to you. It. You're welcome, sweetie. Um, the first thing I want to say is, uh, um, how have you guys been together? So when I ask Spirit how long have they been together, I get months. Um, that you guys have been together for months, not years. Is that accurate? Okay. Yeah. You know what, you guys, listen, here's the deal. I'm going to answer that question the best I can, but here's a freaking deal. Pay attention, everybody. If you call in and you're asking me a question, please make sure it's very audible because it's not only me that needs to hear this question. I'm using my phone on speaker, which has to go into my computer. And then people are actually watching this on actual TV. I want to make sure and do the best I can to have it be the best possible outcome for everybody listening. Um, and if, if once you do get on the phone with me, once I say your area code, please, please uh, take me off of speaker and put your, your uh, phone to your face or to your at least to your mouth and allow it to be a clear connection and then while i'm talking to you please have the decency to spirit to not full on do whatever that was don't don't if I, just, i'm talking to you you get through my call log is full sweetie there are people waiting that are serious about and not that you're not serious about your question but pay, pay attention give me that five five minutes to focus in on your energy and answer your question if you can't do that i understand call back at a time when you can but i can't hear have that whatever you were doing in the background of a show i just no no the the listeners don't deserve that OK, uh, it's complicated. Your relationship is complicated and it's going to be complicated um, until both of you learn to communicate effectively. When you learn to communicate effectively, you will have a much smoother relationship with that person. OK, thank you so much. And I'm sorry that I was not understanding everything perfectly um, during that call. But um, yeah. That is what it is. Okay, I'm going to go to the very next caller, and I want to apologize again that I could not um, completely understand, and it was not a completely clear connection. But again, it's not just me. Um, it is everybody else who's listening that deserves to get clear, audible connection. Okay? All righty then. Um, uh, I think your name is Shell. P, uh, can I connect with your grandma and tell her I love her? Okay, give me one second, Shell. I'm going to take the next caller. And while I take the next caller, please tell me your grandma's first name because I like to respect loved ones that way. So please tell me your grandma's first name and I'll be happy to um, do that for you after this next caller. 614, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Sosin. I'm calling from Ohio. Okay, perfect. What's your question? How can I help you today? Um, I 
would love to know if there's any new romantic relationships coming up for me. Yeah, before you even ask the question, I heard yes, a solid yes. Um, okay, you have the potential to meet somebody during the month of, at first I heard November, but now I'm hearing December. So I'm, I'm just to be on the safe side between now and December and possibly in the month of December, you have the potential to meet somebody. And this person is going to be um, really a very, very, very good person for you. This person is going to, um, I'm, oh my gosh, I'm hearing this. I can't believe I have to sing this song, but you, you light up my life. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think the next line is you give me hope. <laughs> that song, that's the song they're singing. This person is going to bring a lot of inspiration and life and light into your life. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to tell you this person is very charismatic. So look past the charisma to, to make sure you're thinking logically and you're, um, you're, you're moving appropriately. And also um, go, go slow with this person. Even though you're going to want to jump, um, they're singing the song, get down on it, don't get down on it. Take your time to get down on it. Um, oh my gosh, spirit is like being ridiculous today. I love it. Um, so they're saying just make sure that you are uh, taking your time. Now this person, there's a chance they could come in in November, but I'm hearing the statement near miss and I feel like it's going to be more December. And again, if I'm looking at a calendar in December, they're they're really not even showing me what day in December. Um but I am hearing the word travel about this situation. So whether you are traveling or maybe this person is traveling and traveling can be just going to um you could be traveling to to the store or something like that so you meet this person or this person can be traveling home for the holidays and i do feel like pay attention on the the 18th and pay attention really really yeah. Okay. Pay attention. Pay really strong attention on the 24th of December. So wherever you're going, whatever you're doing on those two days and in between those two days, pay attention. I feel like there is the potential to meet somebody who is pretty, um, will be pretty fantastic for you in that time frame. Until uh, Monday, please uh, have an amazing weekend and enjoy yourself. And remember, you're loved by so many people and angels uh, that you can't even imagine. There are angels on the other side that walk with you every single day. They don't leave you alone. Um, and they're guiding and directing you and they're bringing you love every day every single day. So please embrace that along with your ancestors on the other side and people here who maybe don't say it, but they they do love you. So please remember that you are loved and I love each and every one of you so very, very much. Um, yeah, okay, I'm gonna just leave it at that and say, I will see, see you on Monday. Until then, uh, do something that makes you happy.